Well, I'm two-time world champion surfer. Um, I won the world championship in 78 and 79. We were fortunate enough to be in the era that was known as the pioneering days of the surfing, of the professional surfing circuit. And it, you know, so it was a early, it was the, just the beginning stages of the professional of what it's become today. We were the first ones to do it. Margo and I had, a, we practiced a lot. We were out there, we had people helping us like Ken Bradshaw helped me and Harold Diggy was my shaper and he was the best coach back then. You know, he used to tell me how to surf big waves and how you look at it like a skier on a slalom course and you always look one or two or three slalom things ahead of your with your turns and that you also, when you're coming down the steep face at Sunset Beach, you use your legs like shock absorbers and you relax them and absorb the, you know, the chops on the wave if there are any and you draw your turns out, long lines. You know, he used to tell me, just make sure you draw your turns out. You don't cut short, you draw them and use the whole wave. So I, he was really good for me. It was an exotic time, I guess I'd say. It was an exciting time for everybody. Surfing used to be looked at, you know, just druggies and low lifers do it. You know, they're not gonna go to school because they wanna go surf, which, um, maybe did happen but you know now with the changes in surfing and the professionalism it's become quite a sport you know a professional sport and back then it wasn't really so you really needed to have family support to be able to to do it or just venture out on your own be a a, a, a really brave young person to go out and because there was no such thing as a sponsor back then the, the main things that we got sponsored were you know I was able to get a surfboard sponsor but not financial you know no money you know the way I always surfed was I wanted to surf like the guys ever since I was a little kid you know I didn't think there was a difference between men and women I just I started kind of young so I always tried to be as good as the guys and so I looked at it more like a sport you know and my the way I was brought up I was supported with it my family let me do it you know my parents were okay with it and they early on I put me into some amateur surf meets here in Hawaii and so that's kind of how I developed. I was able to go surfing every weekend. My mom or dad would take me. Um, and then through high school, you know, I would go on the weekends and then in the summer I'd go a whole lot and practice and enter those competitions, you know, the amateur meets. Sunset Beach is interesting when it's, no one's out there and you know the lineup, I could catch waves like, I mean, it wasn't that hard, but if on the, Regular practice days when it was so crowded, the guys can always out paddle us. I, in those days, I couldn't be as strong as, the, I don't know how the women are now, but we didn't train strength training, and I could never get a wave out there. It was so frustrating. So in the competitions, I, could, I had some of the best waves of my life out there at Sunset Beach, because the water was cleared out, and I can remember some of the best sessions ever that I'll always remember the rest of my life out there. Some of the best rides. <laughs> 